Hi guys, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.com here and welcome to the third tutorial in the Lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to be extending the GLFW key callback class to create an input handler for our game. And to do that we're going to come up here and we're going to click on the source. We're going to right click that, go new, class, and we're going to call this class input. And right up here where it asks for the package name, we're also going to call this input just to keep it nice and tidy. So click finish once that's done and first of all in our new input class we're going to want to import the classes that we're going to be extending and the class that we're going to be extending is import org.lightweightjavagamelibrary.glfw.glfw key callback and just so we can use some of the glfw methods static org. Lightweight Java Game Library dot G G L F W dot G L F W dot star. Okay. So now we're gonna want to make our new class an extension of the existing GLFW key callback class. And we can do that by writing right in here extends GLFW key callback. And once you've done that you'll notice that it's and it's throwing up an error here. So hover over input and select add in unimplemented methods and that will give us our invoke method. So once we've done that, we're going to want to create a boolean array of keys and this boolean array is basically going to save the state of every key. So public static boolean array keys equals new boolean and we're just going to set this to an arbitrary figure of 65535. And once we've done that, we're going to want to go into the invoke method now just to make the, the code a wee bit easier to understand, we're going to change the, the parameters here. So it's going to be long window, key, scan code, and action for the fourth one, and then mods for the fifth one. And now that we've done that, we're going to want to write the following. So keys, key, equals action not equal to glfw release and basically what this means is every time we press say the key the, the space key it updates the our boolean array of keys um, for that space key and it says it equal to the action so say the space key was pressed um, it sets that one to true um, so once we've done that we're going to want to test out and see if this all works so once our main class and right up at the top we're going to want to declare a new key callback and we can do that by doing private glfw key callback key callback and we're going to want to import that again hover over it and get once we've done that we're going to want to set our windows key callback equal to our new input class we can do that by writing the following right under where we've checked to see if our window equals null. So glfw set key callback, pass in our newly created window and set the key callback equal to new input. And once we've done that we want to import the input class. And Make sure we save errors, and then we're going to want to come down into the update function. Um, right in here, we're going to check test to see if the space bar is pressed. So we do that by doing the following: input dot keys key lfw key space, and we're going to print out a wee console message every time the key is the space key is pressed. Space key pressed. I spelled that. Okay, and after that, we're going to want to come down to af where after we've declared our game loop and write the following key callback dot release. So once you've done that, you're going to want to check to see if it all works, and we'll do that by running our new main method. And we should see our window that we set up in the previous tutorial and every time we press the space key we should see 
millions and millions of console messages um, down in the console here. So that's that's it. That's basically all you have to do to create your own in input handler. And I hope you found this tutorial informative. And if you did, leave us a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you later. Cheers.